Well, the changeover from analog tape to digital um, was, was a, a bit of a blessing, bit of a curse. There were always things that you gained from analog. If, you're, if you had a good sounding tape machine and a great reel of tape and the machine was well aligned, when you played it back, you got a nice softening of the transients, uh, extra little bump in the bottom end, so all your drums now had a little bit more thump. But if you recorded too hot, sometimes you lost the transients, things started to sound mushy. Uh, I remember most always, always, you're, you've got a sound while the band's out there tracking, and then somebody comes in to play it back and all of a sudden you feel like your balances are changed. You're now like maybe pushing up the kick drum a little bit, the snare drum a little bit because the tape has softened it a little bit. So in that sense, digital was great in that you didn't feel like you lost something, but all those pluses that you got with analog, the bump in the bottom end, the nice touch of soft compression, you don't get with digital. It can be a little cold at times. So I found that um, singers really enjoyed analog tape because it rounded off a lot of their peaks and a lot of their harsh mid-range. It just did a nice softening thing. So I, I often feel like I'm, I'm, even though I know I'm going to digital, when it comes to vocals, I'm almost listening with an analog ear. I'm trying to make it sound analog. I'm trying to get that little softness of, of um, harsh peaks out of the way while I'm recording because I, I miss that playback that I got from multi-track tape where the vocal just felt a tiny bit warmer. But the the, once again, that compromise, I always felt if I was doing a pop singer on analog tape that had all this beautiful air and breath in their voice and all this high order, uh, this, this, this 20K harmonics to their voice, that when I went to analog tape, some of it was gone. And I always wanted to make sure I put an extra click of top end going into the machine because I might not get it back. The nice thing about digital is that stuff for the most part, especially if you're recording at 96K or 192, all that information is still there. I think my technique in terms of recording vocals, analog or digital, is about the same. But if I'm in analog, I might be a little uh, less heavy handed with the compression because I know I'm going to get a little bit of help from the tape. Um, I might compress just to taste less. And, and of course, if you're going for a certain effect, if you're going for a heavily compressed vocal that's pumping and breathing and kind of in your face and dirty, doesn't really matter. But uh, in general, I might rely on the tape to give me that extra little bit of compression. So when I'm working in digital, I might be compressing more. I may also be trying to tame those mid-range frequencies a bit more. I might be pulling out the harsh uh, upper mid-range frequencies on a vocal more now in digital than I might have done in analog because once again, I, I always feel like analog sometimes softens that range. So um, while I'm recording in, in digital, I probably am having a tendency to pull out maybe a crack more of those ugly upper mid-range frequencies.